400 meters. At the roundabout, take the third exit. Alright, just got here to left. Trinidad from Tobago. Now I'm going to just uh, drive around. Um, oh, not just drive around. Also. In 200 meters, at the roundabout, take the third exit onto BWIA Boulevard. I'm driving to my Airbnb. I still have to get oriented. Uh, yeah, I, just, I just got here. Got into my rental car, which I never drove before. And let's see, got a big roundabout. Been driving on the opposite side of the street from what I'm used to. Exit the roundabout onto BW. Continue straight. You're back online. You are on the fastest route despite usual traffic. You will arrive at 2.56 p.m. All right, it's uh, Saturday, 2.20 p.m. Now, I was renting a car in Suriname for a week and I was driving on this side of the street, so... In 600 meters, turn left onto Churchill Roosevelt Highway. It's, it's still in my head that to drive on this side of the street. My head's uh, prepared to drive on this side of the street. Turn left onto Churchill Roosevelt Highway. On Churchill Roosevelt Highway for 15 kilometers. A little worried because my uh, camera battery isn't full. I, I didn't plan it very well. I'd say my camera's a little bit crooked. Overall, in Tobago, I had a pretty good time, but it is very, very slow, so... If you're working and you need a place to stay that's, you know, really slow going and relaxed, then Tobago would be a good place. If, if you want a place to party and stuff, it's not really a good place to party, I don't think. It's just good for an easy going, relaxed kind of vacation there. So, I don't know, if, if you're looking for a slow, easy going vacation, you could consider Tobago. I uh, kind of wish I had a rental car there. Uh, I just never got around to it. I'm renting this car four days. Uh, the price is $164.50. For four nights or four days, I'm staying at an Airbnb. I can't remember the price. It's not that much. I'm staying there three nights, and I might choose somewhere else for my last night, or I might try to stay there some more. All right, so I'll just turn on the radio or something. Oh, I guess I could talk about. You know, I'm by myself, but you know, I feel like uh, it, it's weird sometimes just talking. Uh, I'm going to Saint Vincent, 
next, in four days, I'm going to St. Vincent. And I actually don't know how long I'm going to stay there. Um, I don't know how much I will like it. And St. Vincent and the Grenadines, or Grenadines, uh, they have lots of different islands, and I really need to study and learn where I need to go, because I believe the main island in St. Vincent is maybe boring. So what I would have to do is take a ferry to the, I guess, the touristy island, or the island they have the beautiful beaches and stuff. After St. Vincent, hmm, I think I found a route that I want to go. It's going to be from St. Vincent to St. Lucia, and then I'll start going to some of those French islands. Uh, I think it's Martinique and Guadalupe, I think. I have to look. It's it's two French islands, and from that second French island, I could go. I could get. I could go to Europe from there, or uh, I would go to Santo Domingo, which is in uh, the Dominican Republic. I'm just just not sure yet. That's why maybe I don't want. <laughs> talk too much and tell you guys I'm going to go somewhere I don't go there. Uh, you know, I don't plan very long ahead of time. If I, if I don't like somewhere, I, I really want to just try to get out of there. And if I like a place, you know, I want to stay longer. So, you know, when you plan something too far out, sometimes you kind of screw yourself over but at the same time, these air, airplane tickets around here, it really is cheaper if you try to book it out ahead of time, so I have to balance that. Or I'm going to Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic. And from the Dominican Republic, you can go to there's actually cheap flights to Europe from there. You can go to Brussels for really cheap. I think you can go to, to Germany pretty cheap. Or I might go back to Colombia. Because I kind of want to travel through South America more, not just Colombia. I want to kind of go through Central America again. and I'd really like to travel through Guatemala. That's a really nice, beautiful place been to Nicaragua once before. I thought it was okay. I, I kind of want to go through there again just because there's some places I found out that seem like they're pretty nice. I would like to go through El Salvador. Let's see what else. Maybe rent a car and drive through Ecuador. Oh, I would like to go through Chile again, and maybe see Machu Picchu again in Peru. Peru is a nice place to be. Perhaps go to Argentina again, and not just be in the city. Uh, Buenos Aires is pretty cool, but I didn't really like it too much.
mentioned in some of my YouTube videos, you can't you can't put music in your videos. I have problems with that a lot. Basically, you, you, can, you can get away with about 20 seconds. Stop straight up the six. Harry's Global Imports introduces the premium platinum edition, a stylish and versatile selection of commercial and house. Have to remember there are a lot of Indians in Trinidad, so you will hear some Indian music on the radio. Those probably won't give me a YouTube strike, probably. Saturday and the traffic sucks. I think the problem is these lights. I should have found a different route or something. This isn't really a highway. It's Here seems to be like a highway. I hope. Now I actually came here about three years ago. But I went when I came here it was during the carnival. And that's just totally different. That's, I'm I'm sure this is a totally different place. It's probably gonna be a little bit boring for me, probably. But today is Saturday, so I could uh Try some nightlife, maybe. From what the rental car agency said, I think the speed limit's 80 kilometers per hour on the highway, which is pretty slow. 50 kilometers per hour on a regular street. That's pretty slow. Speed thrills, but kills. Take the exit toward Barataria Overpass. I think I'm technically going right, but I need an overpass to the left, I believe. Let's see.
slow now, dangerous bend. Something I found uh, about Trinidad is they are, the government makes things kind of safe. Like all this traffic this and that and the traffic laws and the traffic signs. You'll see a lot of signs for like don't dig here because of high, like, high power electricity. Uh, don't smoke here, don't smoke here, don't do this, don't do that. Lots of rules and laws for safety. Exit toward Barataria Overpass. According to Google, I should be there in 14 minutes. Take the exit toward Barataria Overpass, then continue on to Barataria Overpass. how much I trust this car to go around the corner. In 400 meters, at the roundabout, take the first exit onto Lady Young Road. Well, it looks kind of like a new car. Like a mid-sized Nissan. Okay, here's a roundabout. Seems like a lot, probably a lot of roundabouts here. Exit the roundabout onto Lady Young Road. Continue on Lady Young Road for 8 kilometers. Supermarket. Big supermarket. I don't know in Trinidad how courteous the drivers are. That's something you have to get used to. Like in some countries, you drive, people let you in, they let you cross the street. Like in Suriname, they're very polite. Here, I don't know. So it's something you have to learn when you when you go to these different countries. You have to figure out how these people drive. It's something you got to learn really quick. And usually just take it easy and cautious for a while. Uh, the roads here seem pretty good, so I'm not too afraid. Now, if you came here from the United States or something, you're going to be worried because we're, like here, we're driving on the other side of the street. So if you're thinking about renting a car, you got to think about that. A lot of countries will drive on the opposite side of the street, like here, Guyana, Suriname, Bahamas, uh, a lot of places that were also previously England from, uh, from the, yeah, the England, um, the British rule, they drive on the opposite, the opposite side of the United States.
or at least I hope I got that right. Now, a lot of islands in the Caribbean are, are French, and from what I learned is if the country was French, or is French, uh, they'll drive on the same side as the United States, they'll drive on the right hand. Add uh, Trinidad to another country. I uh, drove a car. Been in a lot of countries. I don't know how many. I rented a car in Suriname. Also, I'll have some videos of that. Now I was in Suriname nine days, and I have to be honest, my video from there is kind of boring. I've been having slow internet except for my last few days, so I'll get around to my Suriname videos. Uh, I think they were kind of boring. I think I was walking around on a Sunday and there was like nobody there. And walking around, not seeing anybody, look, the video looks kind of boring. I drove to a fortress in Suriname and it wasn't what I was thinking, it was just very boring so uh, I like Suriname but my videos uh, the videos itself is probably a little boring I thought about putting my camera outside the car I'm glad I didn't yeah, I got this wet street here would have got my camera wet Now my Airbnb is really close to the Queen's Park, and I think a zoo. So I'm not really, I'm, in this video, you're not going to see me driving downtown. Oh, it's a nice view up here. Oh, I'm going to have to come back here, it's nice. Uh, from here you can see like the whole city. And they have food stands. I didn't know that. Uh, I might come back here. Kind of glad I drove on the other side of the street in uh, Suriname because uh, driving here uh, it's, it's no problem for me. I can. I'm used to it. Now, when I go to my next place and rent a car, maybe uh, I'll have a problem. You know. But my mind is already autopilot for this side of the street, which is good. I remember uh, I lived in Japan for five years, and they drive on this side of the street just like here. And uh, yeah, it took a while to get used to it. But then after living in Japan, when you go somewhere else, like back up to the States, yeah, I had problems. Uh, I don't know, it just takes a few days to get used to it. I can get used to it in about half a day now. But, you know, if you're f if there's some cars in front of you, it makes it really easy. You know? Supposedly four more minutes. This might be up on the hills. I don't know exactly what it's like near my Airbnb. It's not in the city. Hotels cost probably thirty to forty dollars more per night. Thirty to forty. 